it's been a minute, but I'm back. Um, just a little bit of a recap and then we'll get right into it. Uh, I have not been vlogging because I moved. I sold my house in California. I moved back to Utah and just been in a really big transitional period. And biggest reason why I need a videographer. But hey, if there's any of you guys watching this that um, loves Utah or is already here, Southern Utah, call me. Actually, don't call me. Uh, email me <clears throat> at itmakesense at gmail.com. Anyways, I'm back. Um, besides the fact that I moved and life gets crazy and finding needing to find a new videographer, um, I did talk about it briefly on Instagram, but just a little recap. Since I had my nose fixed, the tip of my nose fixed, and kind of coming back to training after recovering from that, I have felt terrible. I mean, no energy, a lot of brain fog, um, just exhausted. And then when I was getting back to working out, incredibly sore. I mean, feeling like I had little to no recovery happening in my body. Um, and that lasted for, I mean, you know, September, when I was really trying to get back to working out, September through January. Um, just trying to figure it out on my own and trying to think like, oh, well, maybe it's just because I, you know, I took time off from, from surgery, took time off from training through surgery and recovering. And maybe I just, you know, with stress and transitional stuff and moving and selling my house and all that stuff, maybe it's just all taking a toll, um, which I'm sure it did. But anyways, I'm feeling better. I'm on the up. I feel very positive um, about, I guess, the progress I've made, but also what, how I'm going to start feeling um, in the weeks after this. I'm only gonna, it's only going to keep getting better. So I'm back and I'm actually heading to the gym. I'm going to train with Jake and we just launched, just announced our brand new summer naked challenge. And this is different than one any that we've done before because we're actually, aside from a lot of prizes you can win in ch little small challenges throughout the whole eight week challenge, we're gonna have three, three grand prize winners that are going to accompany us to Northern Utah to run in a Spartan race. I have never done a Spartan race. I am excited and I'm nervous. But I'm not going to be too nervous because a huge caveat to this transformation challenge is we're going to be offering, implementing our first ever running program, not only to help ourselves get better and prepare us for the Spartan race, but to prepare all of you. Um, running, I love it. And it's a love-hate relationship, and I'm sure all of you know what I'm talking about. However, I do believe that running, using things for speed and then also for distance is a great, great way to get in shape fairly fast. So I hope that you take the challenge with me and, um, you know, I am in the process of getting back into a shape that I feel really good at. My body's feeling better. My mind is feeling better and things are going to start coming together. So I'm very excited. I'm very grateful for this summer challenge because it's going to play a huge role in me getting back to me. Um, thank you for watching this vlog. Please check out the challenge and I'll see you guys at the gym. All right, guys, I made it to the gym, met up with Jake. Today we are going to be doing the athlete functional program from our daily program with Naked Training. There are five options to do that you can choose from. We have functional, commercial, so depending on if you're in a functional gym or a commercial gym or one like this one at Fitness Culture that has both, um, you can kind of take your pick. And on top of that, the athlete program is the more advanced version. Then we have lifestyle, and then we have just dumbbell only. So there truly is an option for any level, but also an option for wherever you're training. It really comes in handy. If you travel a lot like me, you don't always have access to either A, a full gym, or B, a functional gym. So today we are gonna be starting off with some snatch bounce, snatch bounce work. We're gonna do a complex with snatches and overhead squats. We're gonna move into some speed work with back squats, broomstick jumps, and then we're gonna finish with a Metcon. Okay, so we're doing snatch balances. So snatch balance, we're actually going to create some momentum. We have a, very, a small but 
powerful, hopefully that's what we're working on, uh, dip drive. It kind of gets that bar weightless. The power from driving up, it's gonna lift that bar off the shoulders, and then we're working speed under the bar. S speed, catching it overhead. Uh, sometimes with a snatch balance, you'll notice that people kind of sometimes ride it down. So you'll see them receive the bar, or their elbows will be at lockout, but they might still be moving a little bit to find their full depth. Um, drop snatch, there won't be any, there's no dip drive, there's no momentum to move the bar up before you drop under it. So it is really you know, practicing speed and training speed and fine tuning that perfect overhead uh, receiving position in the bottom of your overhead squat or bottom of your squat snatch. So today we are doing snatch balance. to our speed work, we're doing speed back squats. It's gonna be four sets of three, and each set we're gonna go right into broomstick jumps. Explosion, right? Explosive. Okay, so for our Metcon, we've done our lifting, did our, did our snatches, snatch balances, um, speed work. For the Metcon, we have two five minute AMRAPs. First one is a 200 meter run, right into seven snatches. So we did 200 meter run, we ran just around the building, it actually ended up being a little bit more like a 300 meter run. You guys gotta work with what you got, okay? So we ran around the building, came in, hit our snatches for five minutes, two minute rest, and we're gonna start the second five minute AMRAP, which is uh, calories, we did our calories on the rower. It was 15 for men, 10 for women. Originally this called for calories on the bike, but where we're training today, we don't have two working bikes. So, rowing instead. We rode uh, for calories right into 30 Russian kettlebell swings. AMRAP, five minutes. It did the trick. Guys, that is just a sample of what a day of training looks like um, in the Naked Transformation Challenge that's happening for the Summer Challenge. The only difference is we are going to be having a running program added into our Transformation Challenge. We have not yet launched a running program, so we are very excited about this. It's perfect to get myself, Jake, and all of you ready for the Spartan Race. So make sure you do check out the Transformation Challenge. Get signed up before it's too late because your three grand prize winners are gonna be coming out to hang out with me, the rest of the team. We're gonna do a friendly competition, a Spartan race, get to know each other a little bit better, have a good time. And what's better than all that? Thanks for watching. Bye.